Hello, anyone that's still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 3 of the Carolina Panthers franchise here on Madden 25. They'll be taking on the New York Giants in our week 3 game. But first, we have some moves to make. Jonathan Dwyer was our fourth running back. So we're going to trade him to the Browns for a 4 and a 7. I think that's pretty good value for a guy who never plays. And then, I do not like what we have at receiver outside of Steve Smith. So we're going to scour the free agent pool. And we are going to sign Mike Thomas to a one-year deal. See how he plays. If he does well, perhaps it becomes an extension in the offseason. But we'll get into our week three game right now. We're at home taking on the New York Giants. Both teams come in with a one and one record. And we seek to get our first win here at home at Bank of America Stadium this week. As we got a 1 p.m. kickoff here, early afternoon showdown between two 1 and 2 or 1 and 1 NFC, e NFC teams, one from the East, and then obviously we're in the South. But uh, we're going to look to get win number two here, get our first home win of the year. And the Giants have the ball here. It'll be a third and four on the first drive of the game. That will be caught by Myers for 15 yards and a first down. Later on, it's a third and three. Manning back to pass. That's caught by Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz will make a man look silly. He's got this one down to the 25. And now it's first down from the 15. Manning's got that pass to Nix. And Hakeem Nix is into the end zone. And the Giants march right down the field on their first drive of the game. And they take the early 7-0 lead. Now we'll see what this Carolina offense can answer back with. They'll give to Stewart right there. Jonathan Stewart got some nice blocks on the sideline. Jonathan Stewart gets out of bounds after a gain of 29. Just like that, they're in the Giants' territory. Third and six, pass underneath, caught by a new pickup, Mike Thomas. And the new free agent acquisition already making a positive impact here in the receiving game. And later on, it's a fourth and 18. And no man's land loading up deep. That pass will be knocked away and incomplete. Didn't want to punt, but uh, too far to kick a field goal, so they just threw it deep. Hopes for the best, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. Now Manning can't get away from the pressure. He's sacked by Wes Horton, and so the Giants have to punt it back to Carolina. And right there, Steve Smith will make the grab. His first catch of the day, he's got seven yards and a first down. The second down here, five minutes to go, second quarter. Still 7 nothing. Steve Smith going up into tight coverage. He's going to haul that one in. He's got 32 yards on two catches so far today. That was a nice grab for Steve Smith. Now on a second and nine, that pass will be caught by Smith on a curl route. He's going to break a tackle and get down to the one. Three catches, 61 yards for Smith. It's first and goal from the two here for the Panthers, not second and goal. You can back to pass. Caught in the back of the end zone by Steve Smith. And he really keyed this drive and it's only fitting that he wraps it up with another receiving touchdown should be his third of the year i believe and so steve smith will tie this game up at seven two minutes left here first half second and 12 here for the giants manning feeling the pressure he sacked Jot for a loss of 10 big sack right there by i believe that was low to low to and so the ball goes back to this Carolina offense. Thomas going up, making a nice grab. And Mike Thomas proving the value of his signing already here in one game. Makes a nice grab right there. And now they'll go back to him. Mike Thomas has this one inside the 15. And so they would ultimately have to settle for a field goal. Trying to nose kick would be no good. He pushed it left and missed it. Third and three for the Giants here at 10 seconds. That first half has a man deep. That's Nix. And Hakeem Nix going to make the grab and get out of bounds. And that would give the Giants enough time for a field goal try. The kick is through the uprights and it is good. And the Giants will take a 10-7 lead into the locker room. 
Uh, Carolina gets the ball to start the third quarter. There goes Stewart up the middle. He's got a first down. Six carries, 57 yards. He's having a, a nice day on the ground. We'll see if they get him more involved here in the second half. And right there, Steve Smith will make the grab. And he's got another first down across midfield. Newton back to pass. Now has a man open. It's Thomas. Mike Thomas inside the 20. He's got four catches, 88 yards in this first game after being signed this week. And he's already proven his worth to the Panthers here in just one game. Steve Smith, Steve Smith will make that catch under the middle. He's got six catches, 90 yards. It'll be first and goal from the six. The drive would stall out, however. And this time, Gano would split the uprights with the kick. We are tied at 10 here. Six seconds left for or third quarter. They'll give to Jonathan Stewart. And Stewart's got a big hole down the, side, down the middle of the field just... Cutting it through the heart of this defense, a 40-yard run here to end the third quarter. That will put him over the century mark. And on third and go, Thomas will make the catch in the end zone. Mike Thomas with his first touchdown as a Panther. And that will give Carolina the 17-10 lead here. And we got six minutes left. Manning's back to pass. Second and 10. Pressure comes down. Goes Eli Manning. That will be Addison with the sack. And so, you know, again, the dry stalls out. They've got to punt it away with 540 left. And Ted Ginn will make this return. He's going to break a tackle. Ted Ginn going to cut inside. He's still on his feet. He's got this one inside the 25. A nice return for Ted Ginn. And so Carolina in great position to capitalize. C. Smith will cough, cough that one up after making the grab. He got rocked. However, it was picked up by his offense, or by, I believe that was Greg Olson, actually. And, you know, we'll make a second field goal of the game, make it a 10-point ball game here, 314 left. Manning back to pass. Pressure comes. He's hit and sacked. It's Wes Horton with his second sack of the day. It'll set up second and long here for the Giants. They're going backwards and on fourth and inches, looking to keep the game alive. They'll give to Wilson, who's got enough for the first down. Just enough for the first down. And Wilson will keep the game alive for the Giants. Manning back to pass. Caught under the middle by Wilson. And Manning back to pass again. That one's caught. Caught by Jer Jerrigan. And uh, actually I think that was Jernigan. Got on along the sideline. My bad. Uh, second and four now. Manning back to pass. He's going to throw that one caught by Myers. He's got that one inside the 20, and the Giants marching down the field here. Still have all three timeouts to work with. So Manning back to pass. He's going to unload for the end zone, and that's caught by Randall. Ruben Randall will haul that one in, and the Giants have cut this one back to a one-score game. Here comes the onside kick. It's picked up by Williams. And now with a minute five left, they can try running out the clock at third and six here. They'll go to the air to try and put this game away. It's caught by Thomas. And Mike Thomas has this one inside the 20 to put this ball game out of reach. It's a second and five here. Still just trying to run out the clock. Stewart's got some blocks, and Jonathan Stewart has the end zone. Stewart finds Pater, and that'll make it a two-possession game once again. That should put the finishing touches on this ball game. Stewart with his third rushing score of the year. And Manning back to pass, trying to make something happen. Going deep, picked off by Charles Godfrey. And that will end this ball game here. They'll, that'll put a nice ribbon on it. Godfrey with the interception. And Newton, 96.4 uh, QB rating, 16 of 32, 245 yards, two, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Completed half of his passes. Stewart, 20 carries, 140 yards, and a touchdown. Averaged 7 yards a carry right there. Stephen Weiss, T. Smith had 9 for 118 in the score. Thomas had 7 for 127 in the touchdown. So the free agent signing, uh, providing some nice value in his first game in a Panthers uniform. Quentin Michael had 5 tackles for the Panthers. Fortune had 2 sacks. Addison had one. Godfrey and Michael both had interceptions. And, you know, went two of three on his field goal tries. That'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time.
Have a great day, everybody.